guys what's up so um today i'm going to be doing a tutorial um i want to start doing tutorials now it's been a while like i used to make tutorials like all the time in my free time and i wouldn't upload all of them but some of them i would upload and i still have some from like three four years ago so if you want to go see those go ahead back on my channel but anyway so today i'm going to be doing a summer tutorial i'm going to try not to talk much so my skin is combination skin i've talked about this before so it's really hard to find any consistent face products i always change up my face products but i feel as though even if you have one specific skin type i feel as though most women are like that any specific like they have their several specific face products but they don't have like one or two specific face products i feel like most women have at least like i don't even know how many they just switch off their face products sometimes you know what i mean l'oreal paris infallible pro matte foundation because i'm feeling like matte today i'm mixing it with the manic panic dream tone uh white foundation that you mix with your other foundations to make them lighter. I have like a specific thing that I use every day. I don't even wear makeup every day because like I be so busy. Also I'm breaking out like everywhere. Like my hormones are just going crazy so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Do you just hear that noise jeez? Not today, Satan. Blend this in. I list the two things I mix together for my foundation below, and then I'm also going to be using the Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer. I wanted to mention one more thing. So it'll probably see in my favorites video, but I've been loving. Not loving. I used it yesterday, and I was using it for years before, but it was in my car. I needed concealer desperately yesterday, yesterday, so I was like, oh yeah, I left a concealer in here, and it was the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I'm trying to go and find it, because I'm going to order one on Amazon. I don't think they sell it in stores. I'm pretty sure they probably still sell it in the UK, because for some reason, they have a bunch of good makeup in the UK, but that is literally the best concealer I've ever tried in my life. It is the only concealer that I feel like makes my skin better, like actually improves my skin. Like the tar this is also one of the best concealers I ever used, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but it's just not as good as the Rimmel Concealer. The Rimmel one is so cheap. You can get it on Amazon still, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna order that, but I'm gonna be talking about it in my favorites video. Cause it's definitely worth ordering off Amazon. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's so gross. I've been burping so much. But it's like, honestly, when I feel like this, like hormonal and stuff, the best thing to do is eat an orange. Okay, them Florida oranges. About this brush before. I'm gonna hurry up before my foundation like dries all weird. But I've talked about this uh, foundation brush before. It's just a like dense, is that what it's called? Flat, I don't know, like flat kabuki type brush. And it is the best foundation brush I've ever had. And I just like to pat in my foundation. I know I said I was going to talk a lot in this video, but I changed my mind. I want to talk through this until we get to the eyeshadow because I like talking about my face more than my eyes because i feel like eye makeup is kind of self-explanatory i mean eventually i'm gonna go into detail with my eyeshadow tutorials but yeah so as you can see like i have a lot of redness in my skin and my skin did not used to be like this like i knew this day would come honestly i knew it would i was trying to avoid it but sometimes you just can't avoid that but i knew that my skin was going to get really red eventually because everybody else in my family has pretty red skin. But my skin has always had like a yellow undertone. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. And I like to brush down after I patted the foundation in because everybody, most people, it's like a little bit. Like the little white hair is like, what's wrong with you? Who are you? So I just like to blend it on my neck. I don't know. I'll 
okay also i wanted to do a hair tutorial on like how i did my hair today and talk about the products i said this in part of the vlog i found but i wanted to talk about the products i use my hair because for my hair to be this long considering all the hormones stress bullshit and all the little things that i've been through over the past few years and cutting my hair dyeing it red um a lot and my hair is already thick and coarse as it is so when I dye my hair it's kind of bad because my hair is meant to be natural but that's why I'm going for more natural colors nowadays because my hair is just not meant to be um dyed a lot it's as you can see it's it's pretty dry and my hair is thicker than it looks so yeah I have trouble washing it and that's why I wanted to do a like video talking about all the products I use for thick hair. Um, yeah, and then I'm just using this e.l.f. foundation brush. It's kind of like this one except this one is round and really like, I think that's called dense and this one is kind of like moves around a lot and I just really like using the combination of two. A little bit of concealer on because as you can see my under eyes are kind of noticeable and it's kind of bothering me. I'm going to be trying out, I already have these patterns. They're patterns that um, I've seen my favorite YouTubers talk about. Um, I mean this, is, this one I'm using right now is one I personally like and I've been using for a long time. But I bought powders. A long time ago that other youtubers liked so i'm going to be trying those out again because i've tried them before i didn't really know how i felt about them but i'm going to be trying them again and i'm um, telling you guys if they're actually good or not trying not to put too much power on because i also want to put a little bit of bronzer on today oh wow just as i say that like shitload of fucking powder <laughs> that is so funny <laughs> hilarious but yeah i think i skipped the concealer because i'm just like i don't want to look cakey i'd rather look dark under my eyes than cakey right now honestly i haven't been using that much face product lately now we're just gonna move on to the eyes and first thing i want to do is i like doing my eyebrows first before my eyeshadow and everything else because I feel like if you have your uh, highlight your eyeshadow and everything your bronzer on and then you go and do your eyebrows last it kind of messes everything up so I'm gonna do my eyebrows okay so for my eyebrows I use this powder is this powder it's <laughs> powder it's um by color mates i got it at the dollar store okay it's my favorite eyebrow powder ever um i kind of want to try the anastasia brow powder because i saw this girl wearing it oh and the Too face born this i mean i mean better than sex mascara um i really want to try both of those things even though they're expensive and for your eyes but it's fine you know but anyway like i was saying i really want to try those things do you see how like pigmented that is like it's a little bit too much actually but that's what you get for doing your eyebrows on the camera anyway that is really dark but it's fine it's fine you know anyway so I'm just gonna do this and real quick so um, I can show you the rest and actually get it on camera but this is the MAC 266 brush and I use it for my eyebrows with my eyebrow powder and I've been using it for a long time I love it so now I'm gonna be using I really gotta get this lighting right <laughs> but I'm going for a full boot today so now I'm gonna I sounded so fucking white when I just said that but um, I'm going to be going for a full beat today. And I'm going to be using this Lorac palette. I've had it for like four years. Four, four, four. Um, anyway, it's a Lorac palette. I think it's it's called Get Hot. I got this at like 
Nordstrom Rack or something. And this is just one of my favorite palettes of all time. Wow, I should have like really funny. Okay, anyway, so I'm using this shade here and it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a perfect summer shade. This palette's really good, by the way, in case you're wondering if it's actually good. It kind of reminds me of this palette that I wanted to get from Urban Decay uh, like a few months ago during the winter time. Anyway, so it reminds me of this palette from Urban Decay that I wanted. It was really pigmented. I wonder if it's like it was limited edition or not. I'd be sad if it was because I told myself that one day I would get it. But it's just not in my budget right now. So. Somebody's like blasting music. So yeah, I'm just kind of bringing this kind of high up. And yeah, like, can you see? Like, that shade is just so beautiful. It just changed the whole eye look and really defined my eye. And I'm just gonna do that to the other eye with this shadow. This is a perfect shadow. Like, I really wanna know what it's called. Cause they don't have in here. Lorac, what is this shadow? What is that? So good. Seriously, if I knew what name it was, I would tell you guys to like go and buy it. So like I said, I'm just gonna finish this, putting this in the crease and like on my lids a little bit. The outer corners, the outer bees. And then I'm um, gonna go in with another shadow, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put one more shade in my crease area. Let me see if I can zoom in for y'all so you can see what I'm doing. Oh yes, give it to me, give it to me. Okay, yes. As you can see, my eyebrow look kind of fucked up. That's why I'm gonna try that uh, Anastasia one. Ugh. Powder, the Anastasia eyebrow powder. But yeah, look at that, beautiful. And also, for my hairy girls out there, um, I have a few things I can tell you when it comes to sideburns and when it comes to your eyebrows. If you can't afford to go and get your eyebrows done every two weeks to a month or you just want your eyebrows to look nice all the time, I can tell you how you can do that, girl. So, yeah. Alright. Let's get, get back into the... Uh, and... My face is kind of disproportionate, so it's always been that way. Actually, that's a lie. It was kind of proportionate at one point, and then I grew up, and then it just, like, I don't know what the fuck happened, but, yeah, like, aka my life. So, mm, yeah, if you guys know any teeth whiteners that are good, um, let me know, because... I am having trouble. Anyway, I was using the MAC, just use the MAC cross cultural eyeshadow. I think they discontinued this a long time ago, but it's like a medium brown and it's just perfect. Okay, I've had it for years. It's fucking perfect. Okay, let me just one more shot, one more shot. Look at that. Beautiful. It's perfect for that um second color in your crease area okay look at it okay I fucking love it okay so now i'm gonna just blend it out again and then to blend it out I'm using this fluffy blending brush for the crease and it's a m5 the morphe m535 brush and we're just gonna blend it out a little because it looks a little bit crazy blend out in there a little too and yeah like it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, I'm not really trying to be perfect. I'm never going to be perfect. But I am going to show you, like, what works for me with my skin and with my eyes. Also, moisturize your eyes, ladies. Okay. I've been trying to remember to do that lately, but you really do have to moisturize your eyes. And then, um, while we're here, I like taking the colors that I put right there. Usually, it's cross-cultural by MAC, but I'm, I like taking that color matching it right underneath okay if you want you can mix it with the other crease color we used and just make it look really warm and yo oh yes give it to me yeah 
so good so good so good love this and I, as you can see I'm kind of breaking out but I'm still gonna go with the bright low color today because well I feel like it so fuck yeah Like breathing hard as shit. Okay. So yeah. I okay, so now I'm just gonna put one more shade in my crease area. Let me see if I can zoom in for y'all so you can see what I'm doing. Oh yes, give it to me. Give it to me. Okay. Yes. As you can see, my eyebrow look kind of fucked up. That's why I'm going to try that uh, Anastasia one. Ugh. Powder. The Anastasia eyebrow powder. But yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And also, for my hairy girls out there, um, I have a few things I can tell you when it comes to sideburns. And when it comes to your eyebrows, if you can't afford to go and get your eyebrows done every two weeks to a month or you just want your eyebrows to look nice all the time, I can tell you how you can do that, girl. So, yeah. Alright. Let's get, get back into this. And my face is kind of disproportionate so it's always been that way actually that's a lie it was kind of proportionate at one point and then i grew up and then it just like i don't know what the fuck happened but yeah like aka my life so mm, yeah if you guys know any teeth whiteners that are good um let me know because I am having trouble. Anyway, I was using the MAC, just use the MAC cross cultural eyeshadow. I think they discontinued this a long time ago, but it's like a medium brown and it's just perfect. Okay, I've had it for years. It's fucking perfect. Okay, let me just one more shot, one more shot. Look at that. Beautiful. It's perfect for that um second color in your crease area okay look at it okay fucking love it okay so now i'm gonna just blend it out again and then to blend it out I'm using this fluffy blending brush for the crease and it's a m5 the morphe m535 brush and we're just gonna blend it out a little because it looks a little bit crazy blend out in there a little too and yeah like it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, I'm not really trying to be perfect. I'm never going to be perfect. But I am going to show you, like, what works for me with my skin and with my eyes. Also, moisturize your eyes, ladies. Okay. I've been trying to remember to do that lately, but you really do have to moisturize your eyes. And then, um, while we're here, I like taking the colors that I put right there. Usually, it's cross-cultural by MAC, but I'm, I like taking that color and matching it right underneath okay if you want you can mix it with the other crease color we used and just make it look really warm and yo oh yes give it to me yeah so good so good so good love this and as you can see, I'm kind of breaking out, but I'm still going to go with the bright low color today because, well, I feel like it, so fuck yeah. Okay, so I used this sample size Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in Portofino. This is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. I mean, it's super small, like, right now, but seriously, look how beautiful that is. Let me zoom in. So it'll focus and you can see the real color of it. There we go. Do you see that? So beautiful. I'm going to be wearing it on my cheeks. I'm wearing it 
my eyes as my eyeshadow. I don't recommend doing that with all eyeshadows because, I mean, with some highlighters, plenty of it, like to match with your face makeup because not all like undertones look good together. See, this is. I'm gonna try and link this, but this is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. I have Becca highlighters. I have Laura Get other um I mean I have Laura Mercier highlighter that I like I have Wet n Wild I have um one I got recently on Sale at Ulta that was uh, what is it Physicians Formula butter highlighters I have uh the the balm highlighters I have Essence highlighter I have a lot that I love and honestly, you can honestly feel as though you can never get too many highlighters. That's one of my favorite makeup products of all time. I fucking love highlighters. I'm obsessed. When I see a good highlighter that just looks creamy and looks like it would just glide on, I'm like, oh my god, I really want that. So it's really hard for me with that. <laughs> but yeah, see, it's just one of the most glowy highlighters I ever have. You don't even need any spray for it. And yeah. Now I'm just going to be doing my liquid eyeliner. I'm having trouble with my liquid eyeliners right now. I can't find my NYC liquid eyeliner anywhere, so I'm probably going to order it on Amazon as well. But that's one of my favorite ones. I think they stopped selling NYC altogether around where I live. I can't find the brand anywhere. But, like, they used to have it at Target and stuff. I don't know why they would get rid of that because that brand had some good products. But, um, so this is how the look looks so far. And then I'm going to be using a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick, which I'll show you. And while I'm gone, I'm going to be doing my liquid eyeliner. At this moment, I'm using the NYX two-timer liquid eyeliner. It's more of like a um, felt tip liner, which I haven't always really been a fan of those. But this felt tip liner is so easy because it's short and it's dark and it's just really easy to work with. And it works perfectly for me right now, but it runs out too quickly, and that's my only problem. The NYC liquid eyeliner, you can have, like, this dangerous wing, and it's cheap, and it's really dark, and it's just amazing, and it lasts for, like, years, so I'm trying to order one of those off Amazon because they're really cheap. So yeah, hope you guys like that. I'm going to come back with my winged eyeliner done so you can see what it looks like. And then I'll do my bronzer and my liquid lipstick. So yeah. Okay, so I went ahead and applied some Ardo Wispies. I did my liquid eyeliner. Now I'm just using MAC Costa Riche. It's great for hazel eyes. I looked cross eyed there. Cute. Using MAC Costa Riche in my waterline. It's really good for hazel eyes. And I know you're not really supposed to pull, so I try not to do it like too hard. Because it's supposed to give you wrinkles, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. Um, I'll probably add some mascara on my fake eyelashes and everything, blend it in with my real lashes, and add it, oh my god, on my bottom lashes too, but I'm probably not going to do that on camera because it's getting super long, but yeah, that's what the eye pencil looks like, it's great with the black eyeliner and the like kind of smoky type eye like yes Okay, so now I'm just going to be applying this liquid lipstick. Liquid lipsticks are great whenever you want to wear them, but they're especially great during the summertime and spring. 
This is by Jeffree Star. I think this one was a limited edition, but I love his liquid lipsticks. This one is called Watermelon Soda. It smells good too. What? I did not know that it smells like that. 